guys, welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast from the MindFlip server. Um, we are just working on some power set up here. Right now what we're going to be doing, me and JTP have moved inside of the volcano. I'll take you guys outside uh, when it's not nighttime. Um, basically we've moved inside the volcano and we've started working on our base. Um, I'm in charge kind of of getting the power set up. And right here what we have is a Zycraft tank. The Zycraft tanks are pretty awesome. They can be made pretty cheaply. This, I didn't really even have to spend much to get that. Um, so, they're really nice. All you need is this glass here. I'll show you. I'm in the process of making a magmatic engine for it uh, a little later. Um, what you have to do to use the uh, Zycraft tanks is you're going to need... Uh, view uh, this stuff uh, glass viewer see it's just one iron and some glass it gives you eight glass viewers which is really nice oh geez I don't know if you heard that one um, and then to get the uh, valves you just type in valve and it's these ones right here valves they're easily made with blue engineering bricks and engineering bricks are just stone brick a redstone and a zycori Zycordite uh, ingot, which are made from Zycordite. Where are they? <laughs> Zycordite. Um, I had some. Okay, it's not here, but you know the stuff. It's the little. Here it is, right here. Zycorium, light Zycorium. You can use any kind of Zycorium to make these, and they're pretty easy to do. So then, what we have is we have this Ender tank that's going to be bringing in the the uh, lava from the nether because we're going to be using lava as our source of power and it's moved into the tank using liquid ducts and then once you have that used uh, the liquid ducts, and ducts uh, putting it in here it'll fill up your tank and that'll store all the magma or the not the magma you know what I mean the lava then at the bottom it's going to be bringing it out of here Lava goes out, and it's going to feed engines. And those engines will be powered um, using redstone uh, redstone energy conduit, I think. Redstone. Yeah, we're going to have to make some of these redstone energy conduits, which are really not all that hard to make. Um, I just need to get kind of like a few engines set up uh, to get some power out of out of them so um, I will be right back I'm just gonna get some of this invar and stuff worked out and I'm also gonna start working on getting the uh, redstone energy conduits all made up I gotta go find some obsidian and um, start making that so also I gotta make a liquid transposer I'll come back to you guys when I start making the liquid transposer so I'm gonna search that up right now and I will see you guys in just a minute. Uh, so, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I have the liquid transposer all fixed up and ready to go here. Um, so, I'm just charging these up with a little uh, Michael Jacksons here. <laughs> and those MJs, getting them in there. There's a lot of MJs in there. Anyways, I know what they actually mean. I'm taking a heating course. Like I understand the millijoules thing. Or the mega jewels, I think it is. I don't know. One of the two. Anyways, so I'm just storing some power up. I got two Sterling engines working uh, with Buildcraft, uh, Redstone, Conductive, you know, gold conductive pipe and some wood conductive pipe. They're just running into the machines to try and power them up. So um, I probably could shut them both off now because I don't need all that power in there for what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, so um, let's get, let me eat some corn first. I should actually like make some popcorn. I didn't know that was a thing until Mr. Kynan just told me. So um, first we want to get our redstone uh, into the liquid transposer. So let's take half a stack of redstone. We'll, we'll chuck it into the liquid transposer. Transpose the liquid. Wrong thing. Try this again. Transpose the li liquid. 
Okay, there's a way to do this. Can't remember how. This button? Um... Give me a second, guys. I will be right back. It's been a while. Alright, so I made a mistake, and we actually need a magma, magma, one of these guys, magma crucibles. So, I think we have all the stuff to make it, so we can just do this together. Uh, so we need a bucket. This is going to take a bit, but we'll do it. Um throw all these in here. Oh, not like that, though. Um, so, we are going to need some iron. Take 12 of those, and I'll just chuck them in the furnace for now. Um, what else are we going to need? Four... Four six, seven, we're going to need seven of those, so... One... Two, three, four, five, six... There we go. Now we have six in there. Um, and then what we're going to need is we're going to need two copper. So I'll get some copper dust out. There we go. Two copper dust. Um, throw these in here. Also, we're going to need um, two nether brick and a gold ingot. I have nether brick around here, so there it is. Two nether brick and a gold ingot. I have the gold uh, stuffs in my inventory right now. All right, so we'll make a bucket here. Got our bucket. Come on now. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. All right, so we got a bucket. And we don't have enough glass, so we'll get three pieces of that. Um, I've made a lot of, like, thermal expansion stuff recently, so... Um, actually we need two gold ingots. Because we gotta have one for the machine frame, and... Yeah. Okay, so, as soon as those are out of there, we're gonna pop two of these in here. And then, uh, we gotta get our copper in there. And... Some other stuff. Okay, so, now I'll go like this, like that, 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 and we take our four glass, go around it like that to make a machine frame, and, oh, we need our two redstone, too, for the reception coil. That one in there, and that one there. I should even, like, this is going to suck. I'm going to have to go mining again or something. Oh, not those. So now we put one redstone here and here, and the gold in the middle. That makes a redstone reception coil. Those go right up there, right there. Machine frame and our copper in the corners. And we have ourselves a magma crucible. All right, so uh, we don't need this here. That was a lot of wasted energy, but... Oh, God dang. Um... So, we'll put the magma crucible there, and we'll put the pulverizer there. And now we're going to click that on, and that on. But we're going to cut power from these two here. And just have them go to the magma crucible and the pulverizer for now. Just so that we can get some power uh, up and running on them. So... The orange I want on this side, and... That one doesn't have to have anything on it. This one here is going to be receiving redstone from this side. There we go. So that's all good now. Um...
All right, so um, I'm going to wait for this all to charge up and get some stuff going. Um, actually, we'll just throw this redstone in here right now. And it can start doing its stuff when it uh, has enough power. So, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I have gotten the liquid transposer all working. We're filling up our energy conduits as we speak. Um, I don't know exactly how much it takes uh, each time, but... Um, I also have some obsidian pulverizing over here, making some hardened glass. I don't really know why I need so much, but probably just for energy conduits we'll need them. And now I think what we can do is I have my magmatic engine. I have a redstone energy conduit. And all we need to do now, bring some liquid ducts along and we're going to go to the nether. So let's just jump on through the nether port or the portal here. Now we're gonna go into the nether. Okay, and now that we're here, there's a gas shooting at us. Try not to blow up our portal like that. That would be terrible. And we just have to go on over to our little cobblestone structure over this away, over this little hill here and down. Um, actually, I don't know if I've showed you the nether yet. Probably not, because this is only the second episode, so. Um, just down here, myself and Penguini, or Pangu, Pangi, the Penguin Corp on YouTube. Um, is that, we built that, uh, portal right there. So, that goes to spawn. And, down there is my little hut with all my important stuff in it, so. We gotta just find our way down here. I think there's a way down uh, right here. Sure, that works. Ooh, there's a fire bat, and it's gonna kill us. Whoa, so close. Those fire bats are quite annoying. Like, it's insane, actually, how annoying they are. Ooh, we can't get hit with that. All right, we're here. We are inside. Oh my god. That is the most pointless portal setup ever. Okay, so. All right, what we need to do here then, is we're gonna put a redstone energy conduit here, and it's gonna go up and around to. Oh, come on, just break. I forgot to bring a wrench, so. This is gonna be a chore to break all these. There we go. Oh, sorry I'm not talking, just so you know. I'm just trying to concentrate right now. Alright, so, uh, we put down our magmatic engine right here. And I forgot to bring along the wrench, so we're kind of screwed, but uh, that's fine. Anyways, so what's basically going to be happening here is this pump, when we start it, with our engines that I also didn't bring along. Um... And I'm trapped myself on this side of the the wall. Um, basically, what we're gonna try and do in this spot here is um, this is gonna be like our main power station. Uh, we're gonna have all. It's like where we're going to extract the power from. So, uh, I'm going to power this with a redstone engine, this pump with the redstone engine. Or, actually, no, that, that's what this is for, sorry. So I do have the engine here, and it's ready to be powered. I just need to kickstart this with uh, a bucket of lava. So I'm going to have to make a crafting bench. Throw that in the corner, out of the way, and that's not how you make a bucket at all. Holy, that was terribly off. All right, so we're going to go out here. Grab one single bucket of lava. Run back inside. Kick started up there. 
Perfect. Now we should be producing the lavas very soon. There we go. There goes the lava in there. And we're going to turn this knob here, and that will start sending it to the overworld. Um, I can also change the color combinations of this so that I can have multiple tanks. Um, oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. That's open now, and the tank is going. The chunk loader should be on. Show lasers. Yep. Chunk loader is on. And so that's basically how we're going to be getting our source of power. We are all now set up and ready to go. So I will see you guys when I get back up top, and we will continue to work on the power source. All right, guys, we're back on the surface. I'm just going to grab some food quick, and I'll replant. Oh, dang it. Oops, whatever. Um, I don't know. Every once in a while, they regrow, and sometimes they don't. It's weird. Okay, so as you guys can see up there, we have all of our, our stuff coming down. So, um... Now what we're going to do is we need to grab a wrench. Where's the wrench that I made? I made a crescent hammer not too long ago. Yeah, like yesterday. Hopefully I didn't lose it. There it is. Sweet. So now we're going to go up top here. That's why I left this open. And as you can see, that is pointing out. So now all we got to do, turn. Come on can't shift on it maybe so we turn that around and nothing happens that is awesome um, let me just fool around with this quick um, there we go okay just had it the wrong way um, now what's gonna be happening is all that lava that's coming in from the nether will be going down into our tank and as you can see if we click on it we're filling up with lava and we have 432,000 uh, um, units to fill up here so and if we wanted to we could make this tank bigger um, all we have to do is just keep one of the three or four um, different uh, oh geez give me a second there we go um, keep one or one of the four valves and it will stay and keep the liquid in there still so um, now basically we have pretty much a reliable source of power um, as you can see all these machines have filled right up to the top um, there's another conduit for us and all the all of our redstone is almost gone out of here so we're just going to disconnect the power from that one and now we're gonna bridge over top of that little gap that we have here perfect and we'll dig through here so we can go check out the back so now what we're gonna do down this away is we're going to set that to do that suck it out basically is that that's what that's telling us or telling the engines to do and that's how it's going to be set so now what we'll do is we can run redstone energy conduit everywhere in our house um, basically all we need to do now is make sure that is pointing that way and I don't exactly know how that's why that's not sucking it out of the tank. Maybe is that wrong or why is it not coming out? All right, well, I'm going to figure that out and I'll come back once that's all done. I should really figure these things out before I uh record the part. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I was going to have this trouble, so All right, I will be right back. Alright, so I got it. All I had to do was provide the liquid duct with a simple source of redstone. So, um, now what we're going to be doing, now that the this tank is uh, pulling its lava out, um, now I can 
bring this conduit up to my machine, so. Actually, um, come on! Okay, I need to get, like, an actual wrench. Not a crescent hammer. Crescent hammers are great, but they don't work very well. Um, I think we can just use maybe glass fiber cable because that'll that'll be a little cheaper than using redstone energy conduits. Let's look up glass fiber cable. Glass. There it is. Uh, you only get six at most. Eight if we use electrum though. We could do that. We have some electrum, so. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. All right, let's do that because that's pretty cheap to do. Um, so let's go over here. Give me one second, guys. Got to cycle. All right, we're back. And so where did I put all that stuff again? Over here, yeah. Okay, we'll put that in the inventory there. And we'll get that into the iron furnace. Start making us some glass and... We're going to need a few diamonds here, so we'll take, like, three. And we should make some more Electrum Blend. Electrum is just gold and silver, just so you guys know. Gold and silver dust. So there we go. There's some more Electrum for us. And we'll do... How many do we need? Three, six... Eight. Yeah, we'll need, we'll need around 12. 12 glass, so. Um, our magma crucible doesn't look like it's producing any more power. Liquid transposer has plenty of power, and the induction smelter is good to go with more hardened glass there for us. So, um, while we wait for that to get going, um, I could probably manage to make another, let's see, Yep, we can make one more magmatic engine. So let's do that. There we go, so that makes us Invar Gears. And now all we need is a piece of silver. And we make a... What is it? Redstone transmission coil. Grab that and put that on there like that. And then all you do, simply put that there. I feel like I'm missing something there. Magmatic engine. Mm. Oh, a piston. Yes. That would help a little bit, wouldn't it? So, oops. Helps when you have cobble on you in this game, actually, uh, well, in Feed the Beast, but in normal Minecraft, it's not so great. Better in Feed the Beast to have stuff on you that you wouldn't normally have in vanilla. Okay, so, now I think we have all the stuff. We'll just put that there, and our Invar gears go right here. Now we put three pieces of Invar right across the top, not four like I just did. And there we go. We have ourselves another magmatic engine. So we'll go down here and we'll hook those all up together. Come on. There we go. Okay. And put that there like that. That's kind of how I'm going to have it set up so it goes out that way. And then we're going to have all our machines and stuff over there. And we gotta make sure, make sure when you're using these redstone uh, reception, what are they called? Redstone energy conduits. Click them like that and make the orange arrow point up. So you want the orange pointing up, that's drawing power from the engines. Um, also these engines have an interface on them so you can tell how much uh, magma or lava's in there. You can also see how much MJ they're producing and uh, how much energy there is stored in them. Also, um, if they do get stuck, because they do get stuck every once in a while, uh, due to, like, an overload, sort of. 
Uh, basically, all you got to do is just hit them with a crescent hammer or a wrench, and you'll have yourself all fixed up again. So I'm going to check how long we've been recording, and I will let you know. We might have to uh, cut it a little bit short here. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we have it like five minutes here to go. So um, what we're going to do then is now that we have these two things set up, we have our power situation settled. Um, I'm probably going to make this tank bigger because we are pulling in a lot, a lot of lava. I'm going to just turn that off for now. Um, and so now we probably have enough. Yeah, we do. We have plenty of glass in here now. I'm going to throw in some of that Electrum. Where is the Electrum blend I had? There we go. And we'll make one of these. One set of those. There we go. We have our glass, some glass fiber cable at least. And we can replace... I wonder... No, they don't talk to each other. That sucks. Um, okay. We'll just take this off of here and see if it talks to the magmatic engine. It should. Ooh, it doesn't. Okay, well, we'll just have to bring these this to an MFSU uh, next episode. I might have that ready by, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to start working on getting an MFSU for you guys ready when I come to the next episode. We should have one. Oh, guys, you can rotate chests with that, too. Crescent hammers are cool. All right. So I guess we're going to just cut it a little bit short this episode. Um, thank you all for watching the episode number two of Feed the Beast from the Mind Flip Feed the Beast server. Um, please make sure that you comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, go check out the other Mind Flip guys because I'm sure they have already put up one or two videos of Feed the Beast by this point. So thank you all for watching once again, and I will see you guys next time. Blah, 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 blah.